What's going on guys, your boy Chi once again. And uh, here we have, the, what is it? Three regular shaft tails, an owl finch, and four criminos, uh, uh, red eyes. Latino, I believe they are. And um, the mother is that hen in the back there with the orange beak. Right there in the back. The regular color. The one on the floor. That's the mother to the to the criminos and to the one I have here. So just pick these up today. I gotta give them some scat. And uh, get these birds right. Cleaned up the floor today, the aviary. The birds are looking nice. And, uh, I put the society finches in here, the babies. Everybody else is great. Everybody's doing good. The star finches. The pair of uh, orange cheap wax bales. Doing good. So, they'll be laying eggs soon. Any day. Any day now. We got the babies in here looking good. Everybody's doing good. So, that's it, guys. I'll be back in a few minutes. What's going on guys? It's your boy G and we're here once again. So I just got those Cremino Red Eye. So what would we call them? Cremino Lutinos. And um, the, their feathers are in a little bit of a rough shape. You know, they need to take a nice bath. I'm gonna let them settle in for today, you know, and uh, tomorrow I'll give them the bath. So I added the scat. Is how it looks like. That's how much I paid. And there's S76 in the water. Scat and S76, they kind of go together. They're like uh, they're like cousins in the medicine, or like a half brother, half sister in the medicine world for the birds. I'll put some pictures up how um, what happens when you don't give your birds. Scat and S76, how their uh, intestines and the inside and the pictures when one of the birds, you know, were dead, they were uh, cut open and you can see. And the feet, you know, when they have the, the mites, you know, the mites, oh my God, they just beat up the bird. First of all, your birds will be in no breeding condition if they have, you know, those types of, those type of bugs on them. 
they're not comfortable they don't breed well they will try to breed but you won't have success you might you know be able to do one baby here one baby there but not no clutches of five fertile eggs six fertile eggs you know look at that i just put clean water this morning and it's like two o'clock and i put clean water again and look i just blow towards the floor to dry it up faster and there they go again unreal they love the water hey what can you do it is what it is so i'll put some pictures up how the birds look you know they go missing around the head the baldness um, some birds are molting and then the parrot finches they pluck them there's a, you can tell the difference when you know parrot finches trying to pluck the birds when they're molting it's crazy it drives me nuts when my parrot finches pluck the, the ghoulians and and all the other birds but hey it is what it is but you can tell you know the birds are bald and then you have a lot of people on uh facebook and youtube help they'll put help what's wrong with my bird it's bald around the head you know innocence they don't have no idea that their bird is being attacked by air sac mites by mites there's probably mites in the cage in their nest boxes on their perches the birds are being attacked you know and simple solution s76 and scat and you'll see a big difference you'll see a big difference in fertility you'll see a big difference in everything the birds will be more active you know they'll just the, the plumage will just sparkle basically you know it will look like a bird should look like with all their feathers and nothing wrong there's one of the bronze a mannequins on the on the water right there he's about to jump in there he is Nope, not no more. So. And then sometimes people, you know, they post, why, why is their bird, it looks like their bird's head. It looks like the head is like, you know, they're looking all over the place and the bird looks like it has crazy, crazy head. Flipping upside down and going crazy in the cage on the bottom. You know, doing circles and rotating. And... <clears throat> That's like the last severe case of infestation. Look at the wax bill. Taking a shower. Taking a bath. I mean, he's enjoying it. And then bronze egg mannequin. He loved it. So sometimes, you know, severe cases of mites and the birds, is, the head is spinning. They're looking down and they look up and that's severe. At that stage, you can kiss your bird goodbye. Very little break out of it. Very little. I mean, if you're going to breed, stay out of the scat in the in the S76. Don't keep applying S76 while breeding. If you notice a bird, you know something's wrong. Treat the bird. Take it away. Treat it, and then reintroduce it to the population once their their conditions improved. Okay.
But I'll put up some pictures. And um and you guys will see what I'm talking about. How the feet the feet shouldn't look like that. When you go to a pet store to buy a bird, look at the bird's feet. Okay? It will tell you a story. If you guys study a bird's feet, I study bird's feet. Okay? I can tell a story by looking at a bird's feet. You can tell when the bird's healthy. You can tell, you know, how old the bird may be, quite about if the bird is infested with mites, if the bird's been infested, you know, little things. So it's, it's good to pay attention to our birds, you know, and it's so easy to study a bird's feet. You have babies, you have a one-year-old, a two-year-old, pick the bird up, compare it. You have mites, compare the birds, remember that kind of stuff, take pictures, okay? Document it in your log. It's like you have to do these kind of things because it helps you. It will help you in the long run. It really would. You know, sometimes we think it doesn't, but believe me, it does. It's a good help to log everything in the books, take pictures, print them out, keep everything on the log book. And then you can go back and you can see and just learn from it. That's how we have to do it, learn from it. You know, there's nothing better than we learn. These birds are a little bit on the rough side, you know, but um, I'm gonna get them back. Give me two weeks and uh, I'll show these birds again. And you'll be like, those were the birds that I did, that, I, that you got that first day. You're barely gonna notice them. They'll look that good. First of all, that female that's on the stick right there with the other one, she's on the outside, he's on the inside. That female cannot be mixed up with the other shaft tails because she's a split and she breeds um, Lutinos. So I need her to be in a cage and um, put a meal with her and she breeds her own youngs. She raised all these babies you see there. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. And um, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys. Bye-bye now.